hi guys welcome back to my channel this will be my first official prom inspired makeup tutorial this particular look is one that will complement any colored dress if you want to know how to achieve this look all you have to do is keep on watching all right guys so to start off i'm going to moisturize her face using the collagen moisture filler by l'oreal paris this moisturizer is one of the best i've ever tried if you have dry skin this product i promise will be your best friend it not only leaves your skin looking smooth and plump but it also smells amazing now i'm going to use max face and body foundation in the color c2 my model has great skin with some minor imperfections here and there but i still want her skin to look fresh and flawless without looking non-cosmetically and cakey so this foundation is going to do the job this foundation it's not only flexible blendable and buildable but it's the most common used foundation during fashion week and editorials and in front of the camera so a little trick that I like to do is I like to blend this foundation and mix it in with my Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NC35 for a more full coverage long wearing effect. I'm applying this foundation using my Morphe M439 brush all over the face for a more flawless finish. For concealer, I'm going to be using LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Porcelain with my MAX 132 brush. I'm gonna start in the center of the face and I'm gonna work my way out using dabbing motions to conceal the under eye area. Using the Laura Mercier translucent powder with a beauty blender, I'll be using this to set my concealer. To fill in her brows, I'll be using Max Brow Pencil in the color Lingering to define and shape her brows. To prime her eyes, I'm going to use MAC's 195 brush with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot all over the lid. This is going to avoid the shadow from creasing and smearing. This shade is also going to brighten and neutralize her lid area. For this look, I'm going to be using Max Times 15 Warm Palette in the shade Saddle with my Max 224 Blending Brush. On the crease area, I'm going to be doing circular motions and blending the shade for a more seamless, smoked out look. For the lid, I'm going to be using a smaller shader brush, Max 239 and going back to the warm palette using this lighter shade called Warm Breeze. I'm going to smoke out the edges and I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills double sided brush. The point of this pencil looks like the pencil brush. It comes inside her eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be using the same palette we've been using in the color dark brew creating a v-shape just in the outer corner of her eye to line her eyes i'll be using max co pencil in the color smolder this formula is very easy to blend
So getting really close to the lash line, I'll be using my MAX 212 Definer Brush, doing small strokes and connecting and smudging the liner to create a wing. Using Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil brush, you'll be buffing and smoking out the liner just in the outer corner of the lid for more dimension. Now I'll be tracing her liner using my favorite Inglot number 77 gel liner just to intensify and darken her wing. Now on the lower lash line, I'll be using the same shadow we first used as a base, saddle to smoke out and create more of a sultry look. To darken it, I'll be placing dark brew right on top. On the waterline, I'll be using Max Cold Pencil and Smolder, and I'll be smudging the eyeliner with my Max 212 Flat Definer brush. To create a little highlight, I'll be using Seashell from Softbox from Cream de la Cream Palette using my Max 239 Shader Brush just on the brow bone and the tear duct area. To add some warmth around the perimeters of her face, I'll be using CoverGirl's Pressed Powder in the shade 165 with my MAX 168 Angled Contour Brush just to create a soft bronze contour. To highlight the top of her cheekbones, I'll be using High Beam by Benefit. This product is not only going to emphasize the high points of her face, but it's also going to make her skin look radiant and glowy from within. To add drama, volume, and curl, I'll be applying Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. This will enhance the length and volume of her lash while creating drama from the root to the tip of her lash. To deposit a soft wash of color on the cheeks, I'm using the new mineralized blush from Future MAC Collection in the shade Ray Bean with my MAX 137 fluffy brush. Now to finalize this look, I'll be defining and filling her lips with MAC Strip Down Lip Liner.
coating her lips with Rimmel Moisture Renewal Summer Angel Lipstick. and adding a touch of Oyster Girl Lip Gloss from MAC. And that guys concludes this prom inspired makeup tutorial. Thank you so much for tuning in. For a full list on the products used or mentioned, go to my description box down below. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also catch me on my other social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Aravani. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.